and I would like to give the floor to the distinguished representative of the International Federation for Family Development. You have the floor, sir. Thank you. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. The priority theme of this commission and SDG number one are especially important to ensuring the right to a safe childhood. We are still far from reducing by health the proportion of men, women, and children of all ages living in poverty. Poverty is a prominent and agreed international measure of family living standards. It can be used to monitor how families are now. It is a powerful outcome measure for detailed policy assessment of the success of government efforts to support families, and it also facilitates drawing lessons between countries in terms of what works. In this regard, the International Federation for Family Development, present in 66 countries, has been promoting research and dissemination of da data on present family challenges among lawmakers, scholars, and civil society representatives, especially on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the International Year of the Family and the 2030 Agenda, and its implications with farmings. There's a linkage between a range of negative family outcomes and experiences of poverty. Evidence across developed countries generally agrees that children from poor households are more likely to grow up poor, experience unemployment, to have lower levels of education, to experience a range of poor health outcomes, and engage more often in many risk fa factors. Madam Chair, child poverty is an ongoing national concern, but few are aware that it has also been linked to family breakdown, parental depression, especially maternal, social exclusion, absence of parents at home, and the take up of publicly provided family services. Families raised by a single parent are generally poorer than those raised by couples. Thus, the complex and varied policy frameworks found in developed countries mean that many different pathways for reducing bottom end inequality exist. But research suggests that children do better, families do better, and countries do better when nations invest in early childhood programs. The following recommendations for governments should be considered in strengthening child well-being. One, protect the income of households with the poorest children to ensure quality education. Focus on improving the educational achievements of disadvantaged learners. Promote and support healthy lifestyles for all children. Take subjective well-being seriously. Place equity at the heart of child well-being agendas. Data sets should track children through different stages of their learning process and build their voices. Thank you, Madam Chair. I thank the distinguished representative of International Federation for Family Development for his statement. And now I would